Here we have a 2005 Skoda Octavia in grey. The car's definitely shown some signs of its age, um, as you'll see throughout the video. Start with the offside front tyre. You're looking at around 2mm of tread there, so not a great deal of mount. Looking at the front hub cap, you can see very heavily scratched and uh, scuffed. Um, no signs of any cracks in the uh, hub cap at all though. Looking at the offside of the vehicle, you've got quite a lot of small dinks, um, especially down the driver's door itself. A couple of marks to the mirror cap. Driver's door itself, there's a few light scratches that could do with a polish. A couple of scuffs down the door edge there as well. And um, I'd be here all day just showing you the dinks, but there's quite a few small dinks down the, uh, the driver's door. So beware of that. Um, some scratches against the paintwork. Some marks of paint here on the rear door. Again, just some scratches, etc. Um, you've got two small dinks right next to the door handle there as well. And some uh, no chips at all down the door edge. Offside rear hub cap, again, we've got a lot of heavy scu uh, scuffs and scratches, but uh, no signs of any cracks into the hub cap itself. And the rear tyre, we're looking at around 4 to 5 mil, so a lot better. Some scratches there to the mud guards, etc. And there's some scratches to the offside rear quarter. Moving towards the rear of the vehicle. So you've got a tow bar there. Uh, we've got some heavy scratches in the back here as well. And uh, a few scratches to the plastics, etc. Um, a bit of a scuff here on the uh, near side rear quarter. And again, it's the plastics there as well. And then some scratches, um, some quite deep scratches there on the near side rear quarter as well. So, take a look at the boot. Uh, definitely needs a valet, very dirty. Um, and you have got your spare wheel and all your bits and bobs, so that's great. Moving around to the near side rear tyre. And again, we're looking at around 2 mil at the most, so not a great deal of mount. And uh, again, some scuffs and scratches to the hubcap, but no signs of any uh, major damage. You've got quite a good sized dent um, on the uh, near side rear arch there. And again, quite a few uh, small dinks and dents. Um, we've got two dents on the, uh, the rear quarter here, one there and also one there as well. And again, quite a few scratches could do with a polish. Um, some are deep though, so probably won't fetch out very easily, uh, like that one there on the front passenger door. And again, a fingertip size dent there on the passenger door as well. Look at the front tyre. We're looking at around 2 to 3 millimetres of tread. And as you can see, the front hub cap has come off here on the near side front wheel. Some scuffs and scratches there to move around to the front, where there is a few stone chips, etc. No signs of any damage though to the front of the vehicle. But uh, again, a few stone chips, etc. And uh, there's some stone chips there to the bonnet as well. Take a look inside the vehicle. Full cloth interior. Um, no signs of any damage, but the car is very dirty inside. Uh, could definitely do with a full valet. But like I said, no signs of any damage at all to the cloth itself. So you look at the driver's seat again, a bit of wear in there to the bolster, but no signs of any damage to the driver's seat. Once again, very dirty inside the vehicle. Uh, definitely been used as a war course. Uh, front passenger seat again, no signs of any damage there. And again, just very dirty on the interior, etc. Take a look inside the vehicle. We do only have one key with the vehicle if we get it started. Mileage wise, looking at 158,326 miles on the clock. As you can see, we've got a bulb light appearing there on the dash. Radio and CD. Uh, radio seems to work fine, no problems at all functioning that. Uh, conditioning light indicating there it's on and off, and there's no problems at all with any of the blowers. Manual transmission. Um, taking a look at the V5. The vehicle's had two owners. Um, no sign of any MOT certificate. I do believe it's meant to run out in August though. I've got no date. Um, looking at the service history, there is plenty of service history with the vehicle itself. First one there at 14, second at 28, 51, 72, 80, 94, 123, and 136,000. So you can see plenty of service history with the vehicle, which is great to be fair. Uh, but there we have it, that's the 2005 Skoda Octavia. Um, does need a bit of work doing to it, a good full valet and a bit of a polish. And I think the car would be looking okay.